Hi everyone, welcome back to our Cloud Development Environment 101 series. In an earlier installment, we covered the developer experience with a CDE. Now, we'll take a look at how the experience is created. We'll delve into templates and how they are different from and define the workspaces. A major trend over the last few years has been to define everything as code. Infrastructure is code, compliance is code, documentation is code, even everything is code. Simply put, it's a way to define things in a format that is human readable, easy to modify, easy to deploy, and easy to track. This has a lot of advantages, including but not limited to repeatability. Whether you're deploying one or 1,000 things, the effort is the same, and they all start off in the same state. Consistency. If you update your thousands of things, they are all in the same end state. Auditability. Since everything is human readable, version controlled and logged, it's easy to see how your things were redefined, who redefined them, and if any of your thousands of things failed to update. Reversion. It's easy to roll back changes to your thousands of things if needed. Sticking with the as code trend, let's imagine development environments as code. In the context of a CDE, the workspace is the development environment and the template is the code. Two functional groups, platform engineers and developers, will interact with your CDE. The platform engineers will administer the CDE and define what resources are available, and the developers will consume what the platform engineers create for them. So how does this work in practice? In short, the developers give the platform engineers the requirements for their project. The platform engineers code the templates, and then the developers consume the templates to create their workspaces. The most important thing here is that the workspace creation is a clickable motion. The developers don't have to know anything about how the templates are created. For example, the developers have a new requirement to install React. Here is where the as-code advantages of repeatability and consistency come into play. If each developer installed React into their workspace, it would break the pattern of a CDE. You'd have as many individual installs of React as your team has workspaces. This leads to inconsistency and creates technical debt. The better way is to make the request to the platform engineering team. They'll modify the template, and now each developer gets an update notification. They update their workspaces with a single click, and everyone has the same version of React available. Any new workspaces built from this template will have this package as well. I hope this clears up any questions around the differences between workspaces and templates. Just to recap, templates are the code that defines the workspaces. Platform engineers code and maintain the templates. Developers consume the templates to create workspaces. No matter how many developers are using a template or how many workspaces a single developer creates from one template, all the workspaces start in the same state. Thanks for checking out this video. If you have any suggestions, please leave us a comment below. Also, have a look at coder.com for an overview of Coder's Enterprise Ready CDE and check out our GitHub page, github.com slash coder, to stay up to date with our projects, roadmap, and latest releases. Suffice to say, that was a pretty simple example of how to enable a use case in a template. Keep an eye out for our next installment, where we'll detail the most popular ways to enable workspace use cases and what considerations you'll need to take for your CDE.